I noticed that some of us didn't rise when the procession was coming in. Kindly, when we are doing the recession, I would request that all should rise. You're welcome to the 21st Congregation of Central University. The Dean of Students, Dr. Gloria Jeha, will give us the opening prayer. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Author of our faith, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. We bless you, Lord, because you are God, and beside you there is none. Thank you, Lord, that you are the beginning and the end. Thank you for Central University. This morning, we are gathered here to witness our 21st graduation and Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for the success in this journey. Merciful God, we give you full control and ask that you take preeminence over this graduation ceremony. Let your presence fill this place and let your name be glorified today. Oh God, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you very much, you may be seated. I would request that movement in the hall would kindly cease. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Chancellor of Central University. Vice Chancellor Professor Bill Pupulampo, Chairman of Council Mrs. Florence Hutchful, members of the Council, members of the Academic Board, members of the Convocation, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, by the powers vested in me as Chancellor, I hereby constitute this assembly into the 21st Congregation of the Central University for the purpose of conferring degrees. Thank you. Now that we are properly constituted, we are invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Blampu, to give his annual report. Mr. Chancellor, Reverend Dr. Mensah Otterville, Chancellor of Central University, Madam Florence Hutchful, Chair of Council, members of the Council of Central University, members of the International Central Gospel Church, ICGC Presbytery, and senior pastors here present, Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor John Ufosue, named Registrar, Mr. Emil Afenyo, Deans, Directors, and Heads of Departments, 
members of congregation and members of staff, graduating class of 2021-2022, parents and guardians, ladies and gentlemen, and all who may be joining us virtually. I extend a warm welcome to you and seek the Chancellor's permission to provide my report. Once again, we are holding the graduation ceremony here at Christ Temple Campus, where we have occupied formally for the last year. We thank the church management for allowing us the opportunity to conduct this ceremony here and for offering this campus to us as our Cry Campus. Thank you very much. May I ask all of you graduates and all of you visitors to conduct yourselves well. No loitering, no littering. Please do not exit the hall in a disorderly manner during and after proceedings. Please wait for the Chancellor's procession to leave the auditorium first and I'll ask the door marshals to ensure that we stick to this. Ladies and gentlemen, the last five years have seen severe upheavals culminating in COVID-19 for us in Ghana and globally. We all thought we would have some respite after 2021. Little did we know that Putin's war in Ukraine would be unleashed in 2022. The consequence on the global economy is evident for all. We have had straight five years of turmoil and I'm reminded of the song that my parents used to sing when I was a child. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life when the clouds unfold their wings of strife? When strong tides lift and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or firm remain? I shall return to this song later, but for now, I pay attention, I focus attention on why we are here. Today, Mr. Chancellor, we celebrate students from many disciplines who have labored to fulfill the requirements for award of various degrees and certificates. Mr. Chancellor, for this congregation, we present 961 students from 30 undergraduate programs and 118 from various graduate programs. Of this number, 73 are receiving first-class degrees, and 18 are coming in for special awards and commendations. Mr. Chancellor, when the deans come up, they will present their students with the specific statistics for each faculty and school. Let me mention to you, sir, some progress and developments in the university. I'm happy to report these developments. Firstly, we have received accreditation for several new programs, including Diploma in Law, Diploma in Paralegal Studies, and both of these programs are very suitable for all work in judicial and court systems. MA and MPhil in Development Policy, MA and MPhil in Educational Leadership and Administration, BA at Social Science Secondary Option, MBA Project Management for 18 months, and Master of Public Health. May I take this opportunity to mention to you, graduates, that there is a discount, a significant discount for you should you return to take your further studies at CU. Two, we have set up a counseling and career service to ensure appropriate psychological and guidance support for our students. As this initiative grows, we will extend the service to our catchment areas especially secondary schools in the Miyo Chodawenya area and the Abosoka and Matahiko Kaneshi areas. Three, unconfirmed reports suggest that our 2022 licensure candidates for both PA and nursing did extremely well. Uh, Ms. Chancellor, I'm only not mentioning this percentages simply because they are as yet unconfirmed reports and I don't want to be accused of uh, spreading falsehoods. I believe many of them may be in this audience today. Two past students 
from our architecture school won global top spots in a global competition. Nine students from various departments went on a two-week work ethics tour of Singapore and the UAE. Three students from our Department of Communication and Media Studies secured investigative journalism awards and Media Foundation for West Africa. And three students have received awards from the Architects Institute of Ghana. Our Faculty of Law continues to develop in the right direction. A former student, Mr. Ousu Apiakodi, is the second best performing student in the Part 2 bar final exam and has been called to the bar. The current president and vice president of the Ghana School of Law, SRC, Mr. Atta Ajepong Edupong and Mr. Darlington, respectively, are both former students of CU. Again, our former students from the law faculty have picked up their student status in advocacy and ethics, conveyancing and drafting, as well as civil procedure. We are certainly, sir, doing something right at the Faculty of Law. We commend the faculty members and the acting dean for the work. Eight faculty members have completed their PhD studies. We are therefore very much close to achieving 35, over 35% 35 terminal degree profile for our teaching faculty. CU Central University is now a fully fledged center for running the UK based awards for training and higher education programs, which offer access route to university through certificates and diplomas. We have programs in healthcare, social care, information and digital technologies, business, and education. Graduates from these programs can join various options at CU from level 100 all the way through to the masters. Phase one of the construction of our university hospital is more than 70% done. We thank the Reverend Christopher Yao Ano and the leadership of the Holy Ghost Temple of ICGC for the invaluable support which has made this long-standing project possible. Reverend Ano, we thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When the facility is complete, we will be poised to launch our MBCHB program while serving the catchment community with medical services. Staying with the medical theme, the university has consolidated several MOUs with major health facilities, including the University of Ghana Medical Center for the practical clinical experience rotations of our students in PA nursing and pharmacy. We have also incepted a collaborative research project with the University of Birmingham on the economics of health delivery. Under the leadership of the Dean of School of Pharmacy, the school procured over 600 student lockers, which now line our corridors at the Gazipur building. Financing this was provided largely by past students who are now working pharmacists. We thank them. It is great to look back and support your alma mater. After the hiatus brought on by COVID-19, we resumed our public lecture series. These lectures have been well attended. The last was by her ladyship, Justice Sofia Okufu, and we have at least six more lined up, planned to be delivered by notables, including Reverend Professor Emmanuel Adobeng, Professor Bonzi Simpson, who is actually here and looking away as if I'm not referring to him. So please watch the space. These lectures will be taking place right in this hall. I'm also happy to report that the range of new programs we launched over the last two to five years are seeing real growth. And I'm referring to computer science, IT, social work, sociology, and the Mutual Weekend program. I am particularly proud, Mr. Chairman and Chancellor, that my own discipline, 
is coming in for significant mention at this time. And as I read that mention, you will get to know what my discipline is. We have taken overall best student. We have taken overall best female student. And we have taken overall best psychology student. Joyce Nyako, we salute you. She has made me so proud, I can hardly sleep. As a psychologist, it is nice to see younger ones coming up. And whether you like it or not, Joyce, I am pronouncing an academic career over you. Mr. Chancellor, I am happy to say that you preside over a good university which has great prospects. And we are only 24 years old. We have our challenges, no doubt. But with a bit more resources and strength and fortitude, who knows what heights we will attain. Our vision is to build a university focused on applied science, applied social science, a university with significant advocacy and research voice, a university that makes much of its Christian fundamentals and prepares tomorrow's minds today. We are committed to build a, an institution that will make you proud, sir. An institution that will make our alum proud and a place where students are treated well and an institution that brings glory to God. Mr. Chancellor, as is my usual turn, I'd like to mention a few policy matters at the national level. Legal education was trending very much last year but seems to have simmered down a little bit. Our view, sir, is that let us move as a nation towards a training examination licensure structure that allows aspiring people to pick up the needed theoretical and applied training from specifically accredited law faculties. And those who pass by a set criteria can then go on to take the bar exams organized by whatever body, law school, et cetera, as is the practice with many other professions across the world. The burden then falls on the student to choose the best law faculty for their LLB and pre-BL training. And so given the way our faculty of law and its students are going, I have no doubt that we will be the choice going forward. Successive generations will choose CU. Let me touch on what I call the regulatory bite. I commend the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission for grabbing the errant bull by the horns and bringing some order into the accreditation space with its recent attention to the accreditation challenges of some of the known universities that will remain unmentioned in my speech. This is noteworthy because it simply attests to the fact that the rule of law and of regulation is valuable for order in society and shows that size, might, age, irrespective, rules are rules. In this same vein, I urge the Tertiary Education Commission to look carefully at the matter of regulatory oversight exercised by professional bodies and the commission. We have a situation where some professional bodies that exercise regulation come up with multiple demands, timelines, costs, and, and requirements placed on higher education institutions at the same time as the commission is also placing other demands on us. And this can be very confusing, very expensive, and very time consuming. There's a need for the commission to merge these processes. Mr. Chancellor, I've always noted that private universities must be seen as partner for the development of our human capital in this country. We can assist to expand the enrollment situation if we were to implement a fee voucher system in this country, which makes it possible for students to take that voucher and go to any university of choice that they wish to attend. Mr. Chancellor, in this regard, let me state emphatically that the solution to Ghana's human capital and gross enrollment targets, the solution to the access matters, the solution to affordability and to inclusiveness cannot be found in an unbridled growth in the public higher education space. Sir, the state cannot afford it. 
Such an approach crowds out the private sector initiatives which were so vital in the 1990s when this country faced an, a crisis of explosion of numbers and the public universities could not take everybody in. It is time for policy direction to be unequivocal that the viable approach is in partnering and allowing good homegrown private universities, polytechnics, and specialist institutions to develop, stabilize, and consolidate. Mr. Chancellor, we in the private university space seek no handouts. What we ask for is a policy regime which recognizes our capacity and our contribution and works with us to advance the course of this country. Environmental sustainability is another matter, sir. COP27 has just taken place in Egypt. Climate change and global warming are a real threat to humanity. I must say, however, that irrespective of the amount of loss and damage funds that may be approved at COP27 or later COPs, those will not address the problems that we see in Ghana in respect of climate sustainability indiscriminate sand winning, indiscriminate constructions in places where such activities should not take place, indiscriminate disposal of plastic waste and poor approaches to disposal of trash, galamse and its consequent pollution of water bodies and indiscriminate deforestation of our treasured forests. If we are serious about environment, then we must be serious about the institutions and the efforts and the rules which build and protect the environment. Sir, I will turn my attention now to my graduating students. To this graduating class, I say well done. Aiko. Please take a moment in the coming days to say a true word of gratitude and thanks to all those who helped you get to this point. Don't forget anybody. Go and say thank you. Be they your parents, some may be gathered here. Be they your guardians, some may be gathered here. Be they your friends, some may be gathered here. Be they your relatives, some may be gathered here. And be they distant benefactors that you may even know only slightly. Show deep and sincere gratitude because in many cases, but for their interventions, you would not be here. Thank them. By the same token, therefore, I say thank you to the parents and guardians who are here. Thank you for supporting your wards Thank you for supporting our students. And I'd like to encourage some of you to take up academic careers. In recent times, we have recruited a few who have joined us as former students, and they now joined us on faculty. It is a nice profession. Think of coming back. It is a most encouraging sign. Let me wrap down by going back to the song that I started with, Will Your Anchor Hold? Difficulties, challenges, and ethical dilemmas and serious life and professional choices will confront you, my dear students. The economy may challenge you. We don't know whether a gallon will be 100 CDs. We don't know. But the economy may challenge you. But if you but place your trust and life in God's hands, and you choose to align your behavior and your choices and your values properly, professionally, and well, if you allow Christ to dwell in your heart through faith, if you allow yourself to be rooted and grounded, if you allow yourself to appreciate that God is indeed able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think, if you will recognize that there is a power at work in you and in us, as God's power works to establish your person, as the Holy Ghost works to give you a moral compass and strengthen you in preparation for present and pending challenges, I can guarantee you, you will then be able to sing that I have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll, fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. You will then present yourself as the true ambassador of this place. And here I borrow from our anthem, where dreams are born, where we stand on destiny's hills to welcome a new day. 
Create that new day in your workplace. Through your faith, be different at work. Let everybody know that you carry a value system that is different. Let everybody know that you carry a value system that is professional. I'd like to thank our faculty members and administrators who were truly professional and did a dedicated job to get all our students to this point. I'd also like to thank council and our chair of council, Madam Florence Hutchful, for your insightful and gentle but firm steering of affairs of the university. Finally, my dear graduates, I want to sentence you to a life of grounded confidence in God and a life of prosperity and strength under God and a life that avoids all that we know should be avoided in this country. And I know that you will make us proud as true alums of the central experience. Thank you. God bless you. And may the blessing of the Lord be with you in your life to come. Thank you. You knew I was going to ask. Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor. That was one pastoral message. Is the choir ready? We receive one song from the Central University Choir.
Thank you very much, Central University Choir. We tend to do our graduations in two hours strictly, and we would be closing this one by 12 o'clock. Unfortunately, I noticed that you came late. We will try and see how quickly we can proceed. Some of you have excelled, as the VC has mentioned, about 18 of you have got special awards for being the best student in one program or the other. And so now I would present these awards so that you'll be recognized publicly. First, I would like to thank all those who have given us money to finance these awards. The Chartered Institute of Human Resource Management the Institute of Chartered Accountants, Ghana, El Patricio Technology, Rema Impressions, Cities and Habitats, Ghana Institute of Architects, and a few others. This year, the Ghana Institute of Architects is 60 years old. And in recognition of the close cooperation between us and themselves, they are given not one award, but three awards. And what is more, they are doing it annually starting from this year. I should like to thank the Dean of the School of Architecture and Design for the magic that he did to make this possible. Each award is a cash prize of 1,500 cities and a certificate with two exceptions, and I will get to that. Now, may I invite the Dean of the Central Business School to come and present the first award, Professor Kastner. The best student in marketing goes to Mohammed Bukwa Mariam. Mohammed Pokua Mariam. The best student in human resource management goes to Ominok Ani. Best student in management studies, Obeying Evelyn Efia. I notice that your lateness has taken your glory. And lastly, the best student in accounting, Ajeli Victoria. Congratulations, Victoria. Thank you very much, Dean of Central Business School. No. Please, when you come for the awards, so that we save time, you will not shake hands. Once the dean gives you the, the, the award, and then we can just step down. Thank you very much. May I invite the dean of the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Dr. Ransford Entry. The best student in economics, Opoku Agustin Danso. Best student in communication studies, Gagara Ama Grace. Best student 
in psychology, Joyce Nyanko. And colleagues, take a good look at Joyce. She will be back. Best student in Environment and Development Studies, Atabu Imelda, SC. Best student in Sociology, Fiagbeji Aaron. And best student in Theology, Dako Prince. Congratulations, Prince. Thank you, Dean of FAS. Now, may I invite the Acting Dean of the School of Medical and Health Sciences, Dr. Sylvia Agenti. <laughs> Best student in physician assistantship, Fidao Suleiman. Best student in nursing, Isa Adijatu Shaban. Congratulations. Please, if you were late for your award, we will not mention it a second time. Thank you, Dr. Agenti. Dr. Kwanza, acting dean of the Faculty of Law, kindly assist us with this one. Best student in the law program this year, Osam Karen Baba. Osam Karen Baba. Thank you, Dean of Law. She would pick it up later. The Dean of the School of Engineering and Technology, Professor Stephen Abenemixon. <laughs> He's presenting the award for the best student in computer science, Mohammed Karen Abdul Kadir. Thank you very much. The Dean of the School of Architecture and Design, Dr. Joseph Amwanako. Best student in architecture, Nete William George. There are also two special awards in architecture, one for the best thesis, Janma Moncho Toyeme. Janma. And then also, in pursuit of this greening initiative which the university is taking, we have a new award, Professor Edri Wellington Award for Research and Conservation. And this goes to Frimpong.
Antonia, a free year. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean of the School of Architecture and Design, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, Professor Clara Fayose. She's presenting the award for the overall best graduate student, Tete Jonathan. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the overall Best Female Student Award is given by Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayi, who could not be with us today. That award is a cash prize of 2,000 cities and a certificate. May I ask the Dean of Students, Dr. Gloria Jeha, to present on her behalf. The recipient is Joyce Nyako. Joyce, don't go. And finally, the Chancellor of the University also always gives an award, thank you, Dean of Students, an award to the overall best student in the whole graduating cohort. That award is an Apple MacBook. and 1,000 US dollars. Now you are talking. Chancellor, most respectfully, Mr. Chancellor, there is also this year a special plaque that has been donated to the same person, and I should be privileged if you would give that one as well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, colleagues, we've come to another important part of our journey, which is the conferment of degrees. There are almost 370 tertiary institutions in Ghana at present, and you could have got a degree from any of them. The Bible says the end of a matter is more important than the beginning. So now that you are living, I want us to look back and also to look at the certificate you are getting because I want you to go away with a sense of the value that you have created in collaboration with this university. 
In this country, we are recorded as more than 70% Christian, but you will not know it judging by the stories of corruption, waste, and destruction around us. All over the world, there is a crisis of leadership. And it's not only at national levels, in families, young men and women are struggling because parents no longer lead in a godly manner. Today, you will be joining 28,000 alumni who have already gone ahead of you. And many of you will be thinking that we're just getting a degree, but you will be wrong. You see, where you earn your degree matters, and let me tell you why. 24 years ago, the leader of a young church had a vision. He wanted a university that would be a Christian witness in the educational landscape that would produce leaders who are not afraid to transform their environment, who will stand up for what is right, even if the whole world against, is against them. It started in the garage a few kilometers from here. It was called Central Bible College. They studied theology and business. From Dansoman, it expanded to Mataheko. Those young pastors used their lunch break praying for the growth of the university. They had chapel services and spiritual formation. They learned Christian ethics and they trained to lead. Today, many of them lead some of the most influential churches in this country. And that praying habit which founded the university continued. Those who studied business, many of them owned their own businesses or had some of the most serious organizations in this country and beyond, actually. Today, that small Bible college has become a full-fledged university awarding 51 different degrees in eight different schools. Why has it remained unique? The enduring focus on faith. Chapel services, student discipleship programs are taken seriously. And to tell you the truth, when we sign your certificates, it is with a prayer. As I read those names and put the pen to sign, we are asking for God's grace on that certificate. We are not Christians only in name. We are Christians by what we do. All but one of the Ivy League universities in the U.S. started as Bible colleges. But today, if you should visit any of them from Harvard, Yale, and whatnot, the name of Christ no longer matters. So in this university, you see that the chancellor is very focused, together with the council and the chair, on ensuring that that faith does not befall this Christian university. We have determined to remain a Christian witness in spite of woke culture and everything else that is happening. So today, as you take this certificate, you are not just getting a degree. You have been equipped for life. Can we clap for that? There is value in this degree. Now, may I ask all graduate students to rise and remain standing as I ask the dean of the graduate school, Professor Clara Fayose, to present them to the chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, the School of Graduate Studies and Research is presenting 126 candidates. Eight are from Master of Arts in Religious Studies and five from Master of Philosophy in Theology programs. We are also presenting 113 candidates 
from the Master of Business Administration program. Of this, 10 have specialized in MBA marketing option. 20 are graduating from the Human Resource Management option. 37 are from MBA General Management. And 46 have specialized in MBA Finance. Mr. Chancellor, I, Professor Clara Koko Fayose Mante, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, do hereby declare that the candidates presented to you have fulfilled all requirements for the award of their degrees. I therefore request that the awards be conferred on them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. Mrs. Ruth Esando is the Acting Director for Academic Affairs, and she would assist in presenting the names. Colleagues, your, your Dean will be saying goodbye, and so as you shake hands with her, you would file in front, and then you sit, and let's do it quickly so that we can close some time. We will start with MA Religious Studies. Janet Jambo, Zueki Bright Maoli, Esel Mensa Otabo Benjamin, Edria Donko Justice, Buama Emmanuel, Kwatin Isaac, Sokaji Francis, Aforo Yonji Kujo, Enfield Theology, Bafo Prince, Young Green Emmanuel, Kwao Emmanuel Obedni, Beidu Jasmine, AJ Dumsin Isabel, MBA Finance, and Sandalen Delight, Opokuda Kung Patrick, Abdul Latif Sani Mustafa, Tete Jonathan, Oti Mensan Richard, Obri Yeboa Felis, Gati Kelis Delali, Alabi Donko Michael, Asante Richard, Abdullahi Hawa, Asefu AJ, Asefu AJ Joanna, Efum Francis, Kapo Francis Adoboy, Odami Dan Sobright, Beidu Florence, Amo Anana Kwame, Amo Ashila Natoshi, Ban Franklin Kwame, Kunedu Rahel, Amo Akoken Jesse, Inkum Teresa, Tete Sarah Koko, <laughs> Mesa Wu Charles, Lawa Rashi Ketu, Indubugri Abdelai, Osei Ejapon Ken, Enim Felis, Botre Edna Darling, Honiga Jacinta Jemima, Mate Senyo Kofi, Abutiati Kaleb, Annan Enes Ohini, Boatin Francis Kojo, Adoboy Sabina Akosika, Adakwa Abigail, Ade Victor, Bonsumensa Emmanuel, Bonsumensa Samuel, Seydu Abdullah Razak, Patrick Sa, Adam Sang, <laughs> Moro Mohamedou, Esa Robert Richard, Otabel, Otabel Otri Nanakojo, Fieron Sarah, Kwashi Joseph Ofori, Bruce Kwao Aulin, MBA General Management, Anan Harret Dede, Kaba Mary Enu, Zedbu Stella Kafui, Hashfo Richmond, Clote Monica, Asante Gerard Kwabina, Oka Impatience, Vance Kezia, Yanka Christiana Mali, Sian Clement, Echampo Efia, Asamoana Nayao, Thompson Vanessa, Nyankun Frida, Faith Bless, Yangsen Adele Aglade, Ziga Godwin, Plako Adote Fiona, Japo Alexander Kenneth, Mensa Cindy Anoko, Hagan Priscilla, Yangsen Michael, Adele Williams Lydia, Eje Adakwa Mood Opong, 
Kwao Mavis, Yuenchi Martin Techiwa, Bennett Sefam, Young Sarah Plim, Kwao Malfo Richard, Kwapon Sophia Equia Asa, Denzel Grace, Amiedo Getru Selassie, Ado Sefako Efia, Blebo Emmanuel Dominic Tete, Sapon Samuel Otri, Ajete Emilia, Crepe Dina, Jin John William, Efriye Osu Angela, <laughs> Ba Mahmoud, Emi Sazoyi Nakuan. Sorry, I'm now with HRM. Abeko Grace, Tosh, Toga Magdalene, Enim Prisla. Heywood Mate Charity, Opon Alberta, El Soti Bless, Dansuli Dia Adubia, Owusuan San Daniel, Echampon Bedu Augustina, Acha Elizabeth, Akoto Ruth Ashley, Alhassan Messalenius, Aplelite Gifty, Dankwa Asantewa, Fuseni Rashida Tu, Enu Rosalind Ophebia, Ofosuhini Emmanuel, MBA Marketing, Buedi Benis, Edu Rebecca Kwachua, Kwashi Abednego Ni, Esibe Georgina, Beidu Eastwood, Oforiata Frederica, Tete Samuel, King Emmanuel Senna Bless, Warden Mary, Okanta Samuel Pakweku Asiedu. Thank you, Ruth. I think you can do it better for them. You know, they finished the first degree. They had the boldness to come back. Some are on the second and some on the third. And so it's a lot of work. And the lectures are very hard. I think you sat down a little bit too early because we've just presented you. Now I pray the chancellor to confer on you your degrees. I, Mesa Anamua Otabel, by the powers vested in me as Chancellor of Central University, hereby confer upon you the various graduate degrees in administration with specializations in human resource management, finance, marketing, general management, as well as the Master of Philosophy in Theology, 
and the Master of Arts degree in Religious Studies, with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Chancellor. Congratulations. Now you may be seated. It's time for the undergraduate school. And may I invite the Dean of the Central Business School, Professor Adley Kastner, to make her presentation. Mr. Chancellor, the Central Business School presents 186 candidates from five undergraduate degree programs. I hereby report that 10 of the undergraduate candidates are leaving with first class honors degrees. Of the rest, 73 have second class upper degrees. <laughs> 42 have second class lower. <laughs> 38 have third class. 23 are leaving with a pass. <laughs> Trusting God for excellence for all of them in the real world. Mr. Chancellor, I, Professor Adelaide Kastner, Acting Dean of the Central Business School, do hereby declare that the candidates presented to you have fulfilled all requirements for the award of the degrees. Thank you. And we thank you very much. We didn't see the CBS students. So the next one, Candidates of the Faculty of Arts and Social Science, please rise as your dean presents you. Dr. Ransford, entry. Yes. Candidates of the Faculty of Arts and Social Science, please rise so that we can see you. The dean of FAS will make his presentation. Mr. Chancellor, the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences is presenting 91 candidates from nine degree programs. I'm happy to report that 17 candidates are graduating with a first class. I'm pleased to report that 46 also obtained second class upper degrees. Of the rest, 15 obtained second class lower. And 11 are living with third class. Two candidates also scraped through with passes. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I, Dr. Ransford Entry, Acting Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, do hereby declare that 
the candidates presented to you have fulfilled all the academic requirements for the award of their degrees. Thank you. You may be seated. Candidates from the Faculty of Law, please rise. Dr. Jose de Graft Kwanza is the Dean of the Faculty and he will make his presentation. Mr. Chancellor, the Faculty of Law is presenting 188 candidates, being the sixth batch of law students graduating from Central University. I report that two candidates are graduating with first class. I also report that 89 of them also obtained second class upper degrees. Of the rest, 69 obtained second class lower, and 25 are leaving with third class. Three candidates also scraped through with passes. Mr. Chancellor, I, Dr. Josiah de Graft Kwanza, Acting Dean of the Faculty of Law, do hereby declare that the candidates presented to you have fulfilled all the academic requirements for the award of their degrees. Thank you. Thank you. Candidates, please sit. The Dean of the School of Architecture and Design is Dr. Joseph Amoanyaku. Students from that uh, school, can you kindly rise? School of Architecture and Design. Mr. Chancellor, the School of Architecture and Design hereby presents 34 candidates from its Bachelor of Architecture program for graduation. Yeah, they are at the back. I'm pleased to report that one candidate is graduating with the first class. This is our second first class student, and we are proud of both of them. I also report that eight of them obtained second class upper. And 11 are graduating with second class lower degrees. Of the rest, nine candidates are leaving with third class, and five of them are also graduating with a pass. But they, but they will all be going out to design in confidence. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I, Dr. Joseph Amwanyako, Dean of the School of Architecture and Design, do hereby declare that the candidates I am presenting to you today have fulfilled all the academic requirements for the award of their degrees. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Please, you may sit. Candidates from the School of Medical and Health Sciences, please rise. <laughs> Chancellor, the acting dean of the school is Dr. Sevia Agenti, and he will present his candidates. Mr. Chancellor, 
the School of Medicine and Health Sciences hereby presents 304 candidates from its Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Bachelor of Science in Physician Assistantship Program for graduation. I'm pleased to report that 42 of them have obtained first class degrees. One hundred and sixty eight obtained second class upper, and seventy are graduating with second class lower degrees. Of the rest, 16 candidates are living with third class degrees, and eight of them are also graduating with a pass. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I, Dr. Sevia Genti, acting dean, of the School of Medicine and Health Sciences do hereby declare that the candidates presented to you have fulfilled all the academic requirements for the award of their degrees. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're already seated. Lovely. <laughs> Candidates from the School of Engineering and Technology, please rise. Professor Stephen Abene Mixon, the Dean, will make his presentation. Mr. Chancellor, the School of Engineering and Technology hereby presents 29 candidates. Of this number, five are from the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering program. Sixteen candidates are from the from its Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, and eight candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology programs. I am pleased to report that out of the 29 candidates, one obtained a first class. Nine obtained second class upper. 16 obtained second class lower degrees. Three have third class, and no candidate is leaving with a pass. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I, Professor Stephen Abene Mixon, Dean of the School of Engineering and Technology, do hereby declare that the candidates presented to you have fulfilled all the academic requirements for the award of their degrees. Thank you. I am grateful. Apologies, I forgot to ask the candidates from the Central Business School to rise. Rise for a moment and wave. Central Business School. Very good, thank you. Now all candidates in all undergraduate programs, please rise as we respectfully ask the Chancellor to make his confirmant pronouncement. All from the undergraduate schools. Mr. Chancellor, if you will kindly do us the honors of conferring their degrees. I, Mesa Anamua Otabel, by the powers vested in me as Chancellor of Central University, hereby confer upon you the various undergraduate degrees 
in the Central Business School, in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Faculty of Law, School of Architecture and Design, School of Engineering and Technology, School of Medicine and Health Sciences, with all the rights, privileges, are pertaining thereunto. Congratulations to all of you and God bless you. Many thanks, Chancellor. Congratulations, as he said. I thought you would clap. This is it, oh. This is it. Yeah. Please, you may turn your tassels from right to left. You have earned it. And please be seated. Mr. Chancellor, I should like to invite the Dean of the Faculty of Law, and I would kindly request that you stand so that we recognize the stellar performance of those who have obtained first class. Dean of the Faculty of Law. First class in law, Osam Karen Baba. First class in law, Osam Karen Baba. Is she here? Okay. First class in law, Kweku Felix Steve. Also not here. Thank you, Dean of Law. From the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, may I ask the Dean, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, first class, Fiagweji, Aaron. <laughs> Fiagweji, Aaron. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, first class, Joyce Nyako. You will shake hands with the chancellor, and then you would exit this way, please. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Theology, first class, Prince Darko. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Economics, first class, Opoku Augustine Danso. Bachelor of Science in Economics, first class, Ampiao Desmond Kofi. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Environment and Development Studies, first class, Atabu Imelda SC. <laughs> and Korte Kelvin Kwatele. I would kindly request that the photo opportunities don't slow down our process. Bachelor of Arts in Communication Studies, first class, Abubla Olivia Maku. <laughs> Alochi Apeto Terro, Terry Elom. Amenuglo Vanessa Etonam. Annie Gideon, Esiama Yeboa Nana Bena, Boabin Adelaide, Gagara Grace Amata, 
Mensa Ephraim Nana Ajay. Ochri Marian Ajua. Yate Na Yatle. Thank you, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. Is the turn of the Central Business School, Prof. Kasna. Bachelor of Science in Administration, Accounting Option, First Class, Kobla Eli. Ajeli Victoria. Etuahini Jessica. Bachelor of Science in Management Studies, first class, obeying Evelyn Efia. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, HRM option, Bozi Jessica Bamani. <laughs> Ominok Annie. <laughs> Danso Rosemont Adofua. Ode Naomi Amwa Leslie <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Administration Marketing Option Mohammed Pukwa Mariam Mohammed Pukua Mariam. <laughs> Thank you, Dean of the Central Business School, School of Engineering and Technology. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Mohammed Mariam Abdul Kadir. <laughs> School of Architecture and Design, Prof, if you'll just join him. Bachelor of Architecture, first class, Nete William George. School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. First class, Ajira Mavis. Ejewa Florence. Akudbila Gifti Talata. Amafio Rafael Ni. Amwa Roof. Ando Susanna. Enim Theophilus Ofori. Ansi Joyce. Asamoa Georgina. Avitipa Elizabeth. Aye Ilen Nateki. Baka Juliet Bless. Bediako Gloria. Bwedi Rita, Daku Desmond, Janta Isaac Kwesi, Etru Rita, Fianu Nancy, Gligui Christiana, Hlodo Lydia, 
Isa Adijatu, Kumshen Stella, Lamte Valencia, Mensa Caroline, Noshi George Senyo, Oben Adoma Priscilla, Opong Samuel Ajimai, Opusuma Ivy, Orakatete Roda, Osei Priscilla, Osika Patience, Oting Priscilla Nyako, Ousu Ophelia, Cesar Jean, Chumesi McKelvey, McIvy, Amposa. Forgive me if I did not pronounce your name properly. Yanke Monica, Yeboa Hilda. Bachelor of Science in Physician Assistantship, First Class, Jokoto Godwin Edem. <laughs> Luis Loveless Benedicta. <laughs> Mahama Mariam Nasara. <laughs> Insian Hubert. <laughs> Sulman Fidaus. Thank you very much, Chancellor. Please, you may regain your seats. And Dean of the School of Medical and Health Sciences. The alumni of Now that your awards have been conferred on you, we also have the practice of asking you to join the 28,000 who have gone ahead of you. And so if you will rise, I would ask that that exercise be done. Kindly rise. Please, this year, the of is being administered by Dede Kafwe Odamton. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the President of the Central University Alumni Association, I congratulate you all on this occasion and I wish you the very best in your endeavors. Kindly raise your right hand up, and as you do, please repeat the oath after me. When I say I, you mention your name, and then we continue. I, I do solemnly pledge to ful faithfully fulfill my duties as an alumna of the Central University. I pledge to use my knowledge, skills, and experiences to the best of my ability for the advancement of learning and for the well-being of my community and country. I promise to be a loyal ambassador for my university to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. 
I will endeavor in all my dealings to be known as a person of faith, integrity, and excellence to bring respect to my alma mater. So help me God. Congratulations once again. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Please, you may be seated. We are coming to the end. We would receive the valedictorian in a few minutes. But before we do that, at first I told you about the value of the degree that you are getting from Central University. Now, I want to tell you that there is something here for everyone. This year, our Faculty of Law submitted the greatest number of people to the bar. And you see, for law, whether you have reached half time and want to refocus, or whether you're a young person coming up, you are welcome. And our place is one of the best where you can study. The faculty there are simply stellar. Keep that in mind. Now, you don't have to study law just so that you can go and become a lawyer. Even in the corporate environment, it's becoming critical these days. In the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, there are so many degrees, and I can't go into all, but know that we have 51 degrees in this place. 16 of them are graduate programs. So those of you who are finishing the undergraduate, there are logical progressions to the graduate level for most of the courses that you have done. Contact us, let's talk. Now, there was a young man here, 10 years ago, he studied economics in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. Now, he is a squadron leader in the Ghana Army, and he always talks about the privilege he had of attending Central University. His name is Major Ankara. There's another young man who came to this university five years ago he didn't have anything, but the scholarship committee identified him very early and said he does not need to go away. And so he was assisted with a scholarship. And this year, he has become a pharmacist. Many times, you would hear very often these days about cyber terrorism, about technology fraud, about hacking, about the problems banks and institutions are facing. Our two programs in IT and computer science are available. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell siblings. The people that we have are best place to teach you some of these things. In the School of Architecture, we have expanded our programs. We have added a BSc in design, in real estate, and a number of other programs. In the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, we now have public health, which when you see COVID and the impact it has had on the nation, we need more people doing health communication and the rest. Increasingly, we want students to become lifelong learners, because that is the only way you will stay on the edge of the job market. It's easy to become obsolete with a traditional degree. But if you form that attitude of learning all the time, then you would not be stale. So take this with you as you are leaving. We're not going to say goodbye. We'll be saying, see you later. Because I'm expecting that you will come back to do something else. Thank you very much. Can you say amen to that? Thank you very much. We will receive the valedictorian, Joyce Nyako.
Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, Chairman of the University Council, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Deans of Faculties and Schools, Members of Convocation, Special Guest of Anna, Invited Guest, Graduating Class of 2022, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am truly honored and proud to stand before you on this special occasion. On behalf of my colleague graduates, I wish to congratulate all graduates for a great job done. I am Joyce Nyaku, a former student of Glory Complex School, Accra, and in Sabah Presbyterian Senior High School in the central region of Ghana. As an ambitious young girl, who wanted to leave an indelible mark on my community. I worked very hard in school, and by the grace of God, I passed both my basic education certificate examination, BECE, and West African Senior School Certificate Examination, WASI, in a community where a number of young girls ended up getting pregnant during or after they are junior high school or senior high school education. My academic successes, however, never came on a silver platter. I had to go through junior high school and senior high school without electricity at home. Not to talk about television, which an average young person should have at home. I am sure you are imagining how I managed to study and pass my exam successfully. This situation never discouraged me from achieving my goal. Even though sometimes it came with some ridiculing for my peers, through it all, I made it and never gave up. As Aristotle, a father of philosophy once said, success is easy to achieve once you set your mind on it. Gaining admission to the Central University was a dream come true. After staying at home for one year, I was awarded a MasterCard Foundation Scholarship by Comfort Ghana. There were a lot of obstacles that nearly hindered me from sustaining the scholarship. However, through the hard work of our former scholars president of Central University, Ido Rasaki, and our patron, Mother Stella Eche, I made it through and started schooling. Then again, my dream of becoming a medical doctor had to change because of some inconveniences, and I needed to act fast so to sustain my scholarship. I decided to read psychology even though I had limited or no information about this program. But at the, the psychology unit of the Department of Social Sciences, Ms. Wolali Nyalajigbo was available to inspire and encourage me to take up this task. And I, did not, and I do not regret taking psychology as a course. This is because the knowledge gained and exposure from reading psychology has equipped me to fit in diverse and varied fields such as medicine, cybersecurity, business, law, technology, among others. Psychology has helped me to better appreciate and understand human behavior and relationships with people. It has made me a critical and analytical thinker my interest has been aroused in these areas in psychology. Industrial and organizational psychology, sports psychology, forensic and social psychology. I intend to take up a career in industrial and organizational psychology and become a business consultant. As Barack Obama said, you have to go through life with more than just passion. Be ready for change and be backed with a strategy. I say a big thank you to the MasterCard Foundation Scholarship and Comfort Ghana for the enormous contributions you have made in the lives of the scholars. 
you don't just give us scholarships. You give us practical skills, training and opportunities through the Baobab Scholars community to equip us in our journey of life. On behalf of all Central University Scholars, we present this prize to you, Comfort Ayuko. Today, I stand in front of you to share a testimony of what the good Lord has done for me and for us all. It has been a great experience on campus, both academically and socially. Determination, self-confidence, purposefulness, knowledge, practical skills, and excellence, among other virtues, have been inculcated in us by this noble institution, Central University. Through faith, we uphold our integrity and achieve excellence. This is the doing of the good Lord. I would also use this opportunity to thank all lecturers from various faculties and departments. Special thanks goes to the head of department of the Department of Social Sciences, Dr. Margaret Amenuke Eduse, my supervisor, Mrs. Amasewa Abuajiche, Ms. Wolali Nyalejigo, my mentor, Dr. Joseph Okran, Dr. Derek Opon, Mr. Fekwa Parima, and all lecturers of the Department of Sociology and Social Work, unit of the Department of Social Sciences. A special thank you to you, to you and congratulations also goes to the 2022 graduating class of Psychology, Social Work, and Sociology. They were my mates in the Department of Social Sciences. Today is the happiest moment in my life, as well as the saddest for me. My father should have been here. My father should have been here to celebrate me, but he passed away a few months ago. I wish his presence could make my day a complete one. But God knows best. Rest in perfect peace. Mr. Isaac Nyakun, you are always in my heart. I cannot end without thanking the happiest woman of this moment, Madam Vaida Edu. The Lord has answered your prayers. Thank you for everything you have sacrificed for me. Once again, I congratulate all graduating colleagues for their relentless effort to make it this far. As Winston Churchill said, Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. As we take our first step in life, believe in yourself. Make good use of opportunities that come your way. Create opportunities for others. Bounce back from your mistakes and don't repeat them. The world operates in two planes, either happiness or sadness, good or bad. Enjoy the moment and live in the present. The sky is not our limit. 2022 graduating class. I wish you all the very best in life. May the Lord strengthen us all. Thank you. I think she has spoken for you all, hasn't she? Thank you very much, Joyce. The Bible says, when my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. And so don't be afraid. God will hold your hand. Shall we rise for the university anthem?
eagles set sights on higher heights and dare to stand on destiny's hills to welcome a new day O spirit of glory stir up up your hearts to labor on our fields as shining lights of Christ Lord bless and keep us ever by your hand guide us to heaven to live to live and not wavering preach me your understanding Please remain standing. Shall we say the closing prayer? Thank you, Lord, that you are truly the finisher of our faith. Thank you, Lord, for causing us always to triumph. And thank you for the success of this graduation ceremony. Lord, we ask for the next graduation of 2023. Thank you that this graduation has opened doors of greater opportunities. And as you have led in the past, continue to lead now into the future, Lord. With faith unwavering, may our alumni continue in exceptional skills and integrity. May they be continually motivated to achieve excellence and find bliss in all their future endeavors. May our alumni be ambassadors of our great university as they are celebrated around the world for all the reasons that bring glory and honor to your name. And Lord, we use today as a point of contact and declare that we will look up and around us and see our alumni gather and return to us like jewels that a bride wears proudly, as surely as the Lord lives. Lord, thank you for our chancellor. Thank you for the entire leadership and staff of the university. Thank you for all who have been of immense help to the university. May we all continue to uphold faith towards God in integrity and excellence as we render service. May, we continue to, may you continue to grant us insight in wisdom and strength to the glory and honor of your holy name. Thank you for our current and prospective students. May they continue to be shining lights of Christ in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, and thank you for answered prayer. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The church. The Chancellor will dissolve this assembly. The Vice Chancellor of Central University. Chairman of the Council, members of the University Council, members of the Academic Board, members of Convocation, students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a meaningful morning as we have seen God's grace manifested in the lives of our students. We are very confident that every student who walks out of here today will walk into greatness, will walk into prominence, will walk into exceptionalism in all that you do. 
And may the Lord watch over you to give you success and bless the work of your hands in all your endeavors. So I wish on behalf of Central University and on my own behalf to express sincere appreciation to you for being part of this 21st Congregation of Central University. I hereby now declare the 21st Congregation of Central University duly dissolved. Merry Christmas to all of you in advance and a Happy New Year and God's blessings. We will rise up for the recession. Please remain standing as the Chancellor's procession leaves. There will be item 13, be not afraid. So don't be in a hurry to go. Thank you very much.